Welcome to the GKN installation videos. Today we'll show you the disassembly and assembly of a wheel side joint. Always watch out for your safety and the safety of others. Maintain the relevant safety regulations and wear appropriate protective clothing. A corresponding special tool like this from our toolbox enables you to install and dismantle the individual components safely, easily and quickly. First loosen the small clamp, then the large clamp. Use the GKN joint puller to remove the joint from the drive shaft without any great effort. Attach it to the shaft as follows. The GKN joint puller can be used for both short and long pivot joints. Make sure a sufficiently large free area is left on the bolt threads so that the joint can be loosened from the safeguard. If you have a joint with a nut, it is recommended to attach a washer. Tighten the mounting bolts. Now turn the screw until the joint comes off the shaft. Remove the GKN joint puller from the drive shaft. Loosen the boot. Carefully remove the GKN joint puller from the drive shaft. Take the old grease out of the boot. Uncover the small parts and remove them from the shaft. While doing so, pay attention to the exact layout of the small parts. Please remember this exactly. Put the small parts to the side. Remove the boot. Thoroughly clean the interconnecting shaft. If the circlip is still on the interconnecting shaft, remove it. Slide the small tensioning clamp on the interconnecting shaft, then the new boot. Tightly tension the small clamp as far as possible by hand. Install the new small parts on the interconnecting shaft in accordance with the previous layout. Depending on the type of safeguard, place the circlip in the groove of the interconnecting shaft or into the groove of the inner race. Fill a third of the supplied quantity of grease into the boot. Fill the remaining amount of grease into the joint. Make sure that the joint is grease-free on the boot seat. Here you can see the boot with sealing lip and the recess in the joint where the seal lip is fitted. Carefully raise the joint until the circlip has reached its functional position. The joint must be fixed immovable on interconnecting shaft. Pull boot on the joint into correct position. Then deventilate the boot and check for reliable connection. Pick up the large clamp and tension as far as possible by hand. Now tightly close the two clamps with the help of special pliers. 
The special pliers hold down ensures professional compression of the lugs and uniform fixing of the tensioning clamp and sealing of the boot. Make sure the tensioning clamps are reliably fit. Boot must be in full contact with joint. Move the joint to spread the grease inside and simultaneously check the free movement of the joint. You have neatly solved the task and the shaft is now ready for use. We wish you continued success.